Good afternoon. My name is Anna Hansen. I am our Director of Business to Business Sales here at ESCOM, the manufacturer of the UBDO3. And today I am going to be going through the training on how to use your recent UBDOs that were integrated into your offices. The UBDO is a face-to-face -face communication device that is going to enable you and your team to communicate simultaneously in real time with anyone you encounter that is deaf, hard of hearing, um, or late deafened. The UB does not use internet or Wi-Fi, so it will work anywhere throughout your offices and enable 100% communication access. Some high-level features. Again, they do not use internet or Wi-Fi. It is a touch screen. The battery life is 12 hours. That is of typing or conversation time in between charges. So very long lasting batteries, three and a half pounds total weight. And when they are powered on, you can get up to hundred feet wireless distance and they will still communicate keystroke for keystroke in real time. I will go through here in just a couple minutes and show you how to customize font size and background colors to accommodate those who are low vision or have contrast needs. And I will also go through how to save conversations if that need arises. As an upfront reminder, while this is absolutely utilized to uh, enable communication access if an interpreter is not immediately available for someone who is deaf who signs. These also can be used um, and are used by all types of agencies. If you encounter someone who's had hearing and lost it or is losing their hearing, they may not sign and they just need a way to receive clear information from you. They may have the ability to speak right back to you. They just need a way to receive it clearly. Or if you encounter those with verbal communication barriers, you may be able to speak with them, but they need a way to express information back to yourself. You will see when you get hands on with these that they enable real time barrier free communication access. And it is um, just as helpful to the hearing individual as it is to the individual that is deaf or hard of hearing. Now to the devices themselves, every device has two identical units that hook together when they're not in use. And on the right side of both units, your top port is your charging port. And you have a mini HDMI port if you wanna to project to a larger monitor or screen. You then have a USB or flash drive that will be where you would insert a flash if you want to make a copy of a saved conversation. Again, I will cover that more later. Then there is an audio socket. Your model does not have audio output capability, so you will not use that socket. On the left-hand side, there is an anti-theft lock slot if you wanted to secure it down to a desk or table. To separate the UV duos, we recommend always being on a flat surface to do this. Lift the top unit up and over so that they are laying flat on your table and just slide those blue hooks apart. Once they are apart, you can place your hand under the screen and tilt up to your preferred viewing preference. When you want to reconnect them back together when you are done using the UBDO, just lay, press the screens down flat, slide those blue hooks into their respective slots and fold one unit on top of the other. To power on the UBs, hold both power buttons on both units at the same time for one to three seconds until the blue power indicator light comes on. And when it turns on, it will take you directly to the chat screen where you're ready to start having an immediate conversation. <clears throat> On this screen, it does have a pinch zoom capability. If you want to increase quickly the font size during a particular conversation. From the chat screen, if you press escape one time, it is going to take you to our main menu where you can quickly change features and settings. In this field, the three small boxes Again, these are touch screen. If you press one of those, it is going to change the background color in your settings field only, not on your chat screen. The conversation icon, this will take you 
directly back to your chat screen to get you out of the settings. The settings icon, there's a wide array of options in here to customize for your personal preferences. And in this field, when you press settings, you will see six options, appearance, about, in range, time date, UBID, and administrator. You will also notice a black, a white back arrow on the top right of the screen. Pressing that back white arrow will take you one prior setting screen back, so you will not get lost in these settings. Now I'm gonna go through each of these icons so you know what is located in each. Mm -hmm. Under the appearance, there is brightness, screen options, and fonts. Under brightness, you have the capability to increase or decrease the screen brightness. You also have the ability to turn on or off the backlight on the keyboard. You can use your finger on the screen to move those up or down and then press accept on the screen or enter on the keyboard and it will adjust those settings for you. Any settings you change in the settings field uh, is what will turn on every time the device turns on. And if you're making changes to one of your units, that information will not pull over to your second unit. So you will need to adjust both units individually. Backing out of brightness, the next option we will go through is screen options. This is where you can design how you want it to be visually set up for your preferred viewing preference. Scenario, yours will stay in two-way chat. That means your two units in your device communicating together only. The format, if you press format, it is going to rearrange uh, whether the conversation screen appears vertically or horizontally. The order, if you press order, it is going to toggle whether your conversation is on the top or the bottom of the screen if you have a preferred reading preference. You can easily adjust that. And again, press accept or enter, and that will make those settings permanent until you come back in and make changes later. Backing out of screen options under fonts. In here, there's a wide array of options to adjust to your preferred preferences. Family, style, point. Under the point or font size, if you press point, you can go as small as font size 8 and as large as font size 72. But when you press point, it is going to give you six options that are close to your current settings. If you need to get larger or smaller options, just use the up or down arrow keys on your keyboard to easily scroll through to your preferred point or font size. Font color and background color, there are a wide array of colors here to, um, to customize. Make sure when you are adjusting these fields that the font color is different than the background color so you can see the contrast on the screen and then push accept or enter and that will update your settings. Backing out of appearance under time and date. In this field is where you can update to have accurate time and date on your UB duos. <clears throat> this would be recommended to be correct if you plan on saving conversations. All conversations that are saved are saved in a transcript format with a time and date stamp. In this field, you must only use the tab key to scroll through month, day, year, down to your hour, if that is the field you're trying to adjust, and then use your up or down arrow keys on the keyboard to adjust that hour. And then you may push accept on the screen or press enter on the keyboard and it will update for you. Do not try to use the touch screen and type in the number 11 in the hour field or it will not accept your changes. The next icon I'm going to go through is UBID. In this field, you have the ability to name both of your units. This is a utilized feature for those that do save conversations that would reflect accurately who was having the conversation. <clears throat> Currently, when the device leaves our facility, it is a serial number, and one of your units is serial number ending with the letter A, side A, and the other is that same serial number, side B. If you backspace out or delete out that serial number placeholder, you can name your unit and press accept. <clears throat> I'm going to go through these next icons, so these were not will not be normally utilized for your team. The in-range icon 
is going to recognize any other UB duos that are turned on and within 300 feet of your unit. In my example on my screen, you see one serial number, one unit, and there's a thumbtack. That is my partner unit on my device. For your office, you do not have multiple devices in each office, so you will not see additional units. Um, this field is for groups that have multiple devices within an office and they can sync or pair so that three or four people could have a conversation at the same time. <clears throat> the about icon, this shows the current UB operating system and UB Duo software that's on your device, as well as the physical battery percentage that is left on that unit. On every screen, including your chat screen, there is a power icon where you are able to gauge approximately how much battery you have left on your unit. And then finally, the final option under settings, the administrator. There is a start in conversation with a green check mark. Please leave that on at all times. That way when you power on these devices, they go directly to your chat window. And then unhighlighted is a software update. If we here at SCOM make an upgrade or software change, we would email out to our direct points of contact with your agency to give them those instructions for that. That is not frequent, but we will reach out to our primary points of contact with your agency and make those arrangements. And then finally, the final icon under the main menu which again, you get to the main menu by pressing escape one time from your chat screen is the saved icon. And this is where all saved conversations will be stored. Again, nothing saves automatically. So if you have a five minute or two hour conversation and you power off the device without saving, it is gone forever. Um, if you want to save, you must save before powering off. There's not a way to recall it if you have, have turned it off without saving. To save a conversation at the end, when you are finished with your conversation, all you need to do is press Control S at the same time. It's going to pull up a file name box. You will backspace out the word chat log, name your file, and there'll be a dot .txt, leave the dot .txt in there. Press Enter. For a moment, there'll be a blue bar while it's saving, and then it will take you back to your conversation on your screen. From there, if you press escape one time and then select your saved icon, then select your file. And I'm gonna pretend here for this example that you have saved the, the file, Anna. If you open, if you select the Anna file, you will have three options. You can view it, to reread through a conversation. The save in this field is where you would insert a USB or flash into the right-hand side of your unit and press save. It will make a copy to your flash. You could take that to your computer to, um, to save to your computer or to print off. The UBDUO does not connect to printers or to your computers. And then finally, there's an erase. And another, for groups that save conversations once they've transferred it, um, most do come in anyways so that others are not reading through those conversations. Here is an example of a saved conversation in the transcript format with a time date stamp. In my example on my screen, one of the units is named Anywhere County Sheriff and the other is Victim Case Report Number. But again, that just gives you an example of what that would look like if you do save a conversation. So from your chat screen, you have the ability, there are four fields on each unit to build in program messages. And generally, if this is being used at a front desk counter, it would be your standard greeting that you say to anyone that may walk in that door. So to access that function, press the function key or FN on the lower left of the keyboard and F11 simultaneously. Backspace out the placeholder of custom greeting number one, type in your message and press enter. Going forward, if you wanna utilize that pre-programmed message from the chat screen, all you will need to do is hold the function key and press F12, function F12 and then accept. And it will pre-populate your custom greeting onto both of the units, yours and the guest unit. Well, it's good.
There are function key and shortcut key uh, options that are available. And here is the list of those. F1 is a help icon, F2 through F12 are emojis and the breakdown of those. There are some control key capabilities, just like control S to save. Control B would make your entire conversation bold. The shift F7, when you are on the chat screen, if you press shift F7, that is going to clear both screens, clear slash delete the conversation off both screens simultaneously. That is generally used if you're having a conversation with one person and you are going to be using the UBDO with another individual very shortly thereafter, as opposed to them reading what you're saying or having to power off the device and then immediately restart it. While you are having a conversation, if you use the up or down arrow or page up and down on your screen, you're able to read through a conversation you are currently having. And nearing the end, when your UBDO is received, if it comes in the box, our original packaging from ESCOM, the charging cords come in three pieces. There are two cords. One end has a Y cable. You will need to plug that into the second cord that has one end with the wall adapter. Once those two are plugged together, you can keep them together permanently. They're also in its own foam small slot is the prong that needs to be taken out of the foam and slid onto your wall adapter. Again, once all these are connected, they can always stay together. They just ship separately. To charge your UBDOs, you will take, plug the wall outlet in on the Y cable. One end of that Y cable will be plugged into one of your units and the second other side of the Y cable will plug into the second unit so that both units charge simultaneously. About five seconds after you plug them in and they are receiving charge, the power indicator lights will go red, letting you know that they are plugged in correctly and they are actively charging. When they are fully charged, that power light will go dark, um, letting you know that they are full charge. You can charge these when they're folded over, when they're separated. You can charge them while they're being used. That will not hurt the devices. And then finally, serial number location. If you do name both your units, just so you know, your serial number is located underneath the screen on the inside leg of both, actually of all units that your agency has, but on the inside leg of both of your units in the device. And that would be needed if you ever need to call into us to help troubleshoot. So finally, you are now ready to use your UBDuo. Greatly appreciate your time. And to clarify, if there are any issues with your UBDuos, please first contact Eggy Cadwell and Annie Burkhart within your organization, and they will reach out to us to make those arrangements. Have a wonderful day, and we appreciate your time, and we're excited for you to start using your UBDuo.